Mark Inman here with a quick tech tip. We get a lot of calls concerning the Ames 4000 SS relief valve and how to repair it properly. So I want to go over those steps with you now. If you'll notice on your screen, you'll see that the relief valve is mounted underneath the back bumper preventer. Once we remove the sensing line, we're going to unscrew that relief valve counterclockwise. If you're using a pipe wrench, make sure that you're putting the pipe wrench on the body flange and not on the side body. Once the relief valve is off, we can take the cover off and slide the piston assembly out. One key component of the piston assembly is the sleeve. Take it off and remember that the piston assembly at this point is spring loaded. So hold it firmly as we remove the retaining bolt from the front. Remember your parts and where they came apart. It'll make the reassembly much easier. At this point, we can replace the disc assembly and the diaphragm assembly. Now, a key component to this unit is how that diaphragm is reloaded. The diaphragm itself must be able to slide over the piston assembly inside the sleeve. And there's a special method we do. It's a cupping method that we, we do with compressed air and slapping in a downward motion. Don't get upset if this takes a couple multiple times to do. What we want to do is have that relief valve diaphragm wrinkle free. If there's any wrinkles whatsoever in that diaphragm, it'll cause the diaphragm not to move and you'll have problems with it. So once you, as you see on the picture here, once you've got it in wrinkle free and it's totally loaded, it's ready to go back into the relief valve assembly. Once we put the cover back on and we can remount it back to the assembly itself. If you like these instructions and want instructions on any backflow preventer and repairs, please visit our website at backflowparts.com.